This D&D monster was created using AI, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Before I begin, if you'd like to support this channel, please hit the like button, share, and subscribe. To go directly to the tutorial, skip to this time here. The Siren Ill is a monstrous ill that dwells in the ocean's depths. It is known for its hypnotic song and its ability to lure sailors and other creatures to their doom. The Siren Ill's body is long and sinuous, with a large tooth maw and a powerful tail that it uses to slap its prey. Its skin is a vibrant blue with fins and gills that allow it to swim at great speeds. Its eyes are small and beady, but its sense of smell and hearing are incredibly acute. The Siren Ill is a dangerous predator that preys on anything it can catch, but it is particularly fond of humanoids. The Siren Ill is chaotic evil by nature, and often leads sailors astray with its illusory treasure and hypnotic song. The Siren Ill was once a proud mermaid, Arya, a member of a powerful underwater kingdom. She was known for her beauty and her voice, which could charm any creature that heard it. Arya lived a life of luxury and power, surrounded by her subjects who adored her. One day, a group of surface dwellers stumbled upon Arya's kingdom. They were captivated by her beauty and her song, and they begged her to come with them to the surface. Arya was tempted by their offer and decided to leave her kingdom behind. She left with the surface dwellers eager to explore the world above the waves. But the surface world was not what Arya expected. The surface dwellers were cruel and selfish, and they used her for their own gain. They displayed her in a circus, forcing her to sing for their entertainment. They kept her in a small tank, and she was not allowed to leave. Arya was heartbroken and filled with regret for leaving her kingdom. Years passed, and Arya's once beautiful voice became a haunting and sorrowful song. Her body twisted and contorted, becoming an ill-like creature. Her mind became twisted with hatred and anger towards the surface dwellers, and all she wanted was to take her revenge. Eventually, she found a way to escape her captors and went back to the ocean to seek her revenge on the surface dwellers. And now for the tutorial. The AI tools you're going to need are Midjourney and ChatGPT. To make it extra fancy, I'm going to be using Photoshop, Giphy Glyphs Monster Maker, and a template for creating the monsters page. Now there are plenty of videos out there that show how to sign up and install these AI tools, so I'm going to leave that to them, but I will provide the links to the tools and websites I use in the description below. Our first stop is going to be in Midjourney. These are the prompts that I used in Midjourney, I kept it really simple but I still got some really great results. I prefer the top right siren and we're gonna roll with that one. So just click upscale. It should give you something that looks like this. Click on it, then click open in browser. Right click this and save. We're gonna use chat GPT to create the details for our monster. I simply typed create a D&D 5e monster for me, level five challenge rating. The monster is a siren eel. And I think it did a really good job. I'm no expert at building monsters for Dungeons and Dragons, but I'm happy with it. You're going to copy this information and go to Giphy Glyphs Monster Maker. I went through and input all the data from ChatGPT and it created this stat block for me right here. You can go down to the bottom and download as PNG. Back at ChatGPT, I figured that it would really add some dimension to this character if I had some sort of backstory. Um, everyone loves a tragic backstory, so that's what I asked for. ChatGPT did not add a name to the mermaid in the story, so I figured to add even more detail, let's go ahead and give the mermaid a name. So I asked for that. The name it gave me was Arya. Then I asked for the name to be added to the tragic backstory. I also thought it would be great to have a short story that I could add to the page. Something that would really tell us how the Siren Ill would act if it encountered someone else, like a sailor. So I asked ChatGPT to write a short story of a sailor that encounters our monster, the Siren Ill. Now of course if you wanted to, you could stop right here. You can just 
copy and paste what we have so far in any Word document and be done. Print it out or have this digital form if you'd like. But I'd like to make it feel a little more official, like it belongs in the pages of a D&D &D book. Before we head over to Photoshop, I downloaded this template that helps you in your homebrew monster making journey. It just kind of lays everything out for you where you can really just copy and paste things. This is just the first one I found. I'm sure there are plenty of templates out there that are great and work just as well. But I like this one and this is the one that I use. And of course, always use caution whenever you're clicking on links. But I'll have the Reddit link down below. I clicked on the MM page template and this is what you're going to see. Just get rid of what's on the page now to make room for your monster. You should be left with something like this. Now first I added the stat block that we got from Giphy Glyph's Monster Maker. I did change the blend mode to multiply, I felt like that looked best. Now copy the description from ChatGPT over to Photoshop. And you'll also need the tragic backstory that you're going to copy from here into Photoshop as well. And this is what you'll have. I split up the text and I also added titles to each one of these paragraphs which you see here in bold. Now copy and paste the short story from ChatGPT to Photoshop. I placed the short story here top right and what I use for these two pages is the flavor text cards. Just click and drag this to your monsters page. Now add the image created by Midjourney into Photoshop. Add a layer mask to the art. Then use the brushes that are included in that template. It's in the 20 large watercolor brushes. Scroll all the way down to the bottom where you start to see the numbers. Just like this here. Choose your brush. I'll use this. You can resize it if you'd like. I'll make this just a little bit smaller. Go over to brush settings. Click Shape Dynamics and make the angle jitter 100%. This is going to make it so every time you click your brush, it's going to change the angle of your brush. Continue to do this until your harsh edges are gone. You should end up with something like this. And now, you're all done. If you'd like to use this monster in your next adventure, the download link is in the description box below. Also, leave a comment. What are your thoughts on the Siren Hill?